The Conservation Foundation was established in 1972 by business and community leaders who shared a love of the environment. The Conservation Foundation is a private, not-for-profit organization dedicated to preserving quality natural areas, restoring natural lands, improving the quality of our rivers and streams, and promoting positive environmental activities in northeastern Illinois. We recognize the beauty of the prairies and forests and streams of Illinois as our heritage, one that deserves our care. Add your voice to the partnership of others working to protect our valuable natural resources. Our work is made possible by members and donations from people like you that care. We appreciate your support. Hi, I'm Jim Kleinwalker, the Land Preservation Specialist for the Conservation Foundation. Today, I'm here to talk about our newest program, Conservation at Home. It's designed for people like you that feel that they can make a difference in the world around us. We can do small things in our yards that will have a profound impact overall. Holding the rain in our yards, improving wildlife habitat, removing invasive species, and reducing the size of our lawns will help improve the environment. A key component to an eco-friendly yard is native plants. Native plants require much less water, no chemicals or fertilizer, have deep roots that improve and hold the soil, reduce water runoff, and attract wildlife. Native plants have evolved in this harsh climate for hundreds of years. The secret to their ability to survive is hidden safely below ground, safe from the effects of fire, wind, and grazing. There are two types of deep root structures. The fine type that absorbs the spring rain and utilizes this water to survive in a typical dry summer season. The other has thick roots similar to a carrot and its strategy is to go down to find water unavailable to other plants and trees, often as deep as 15 feet. We can integrate these native plants in our yards easily and with great results.
property is about an acre. And when I first moved in here, it was basically a, a lawn in the front and the back, nothing but grass. And all we did was spend time mowing it. <laughs> so I have some interest in, in plants and nature. And um, I started small by looking under that magnolia tree and finding a few jack-in-the-pulpits and trillium. My kids and I at one point decided that this lawn had to go. It wasn't big enough for baseball um, and it wasn't, it was too big to put more annuals in. So we burned out the lawn <laughs> and made a path around this area which is now our prairie garden. My two little boys and I planted this area with seeds and we were here the whole time it developed from seed to, to seedling to um, short plant and then we watched it grow and grow and grow and it just attracted so much more than we had, had expected. It attracted birds in the, in the summer, in the spring and, and even in the winter the birds came and ate the, the coneflower heads and whatever else was left for them to pick through. Uh, and we've got all sorts of different butterflies now. Um, the neighbor kids come with their butterfly nets in their boxes and look for this butterfly and that. <laughs> it's been really exciting and a lot of fun. I also am a watercolor artist and I take great inspiration from my yard. I like to, to sit out here or take photos. Lots of photography can be had from, from just walking around. And I also have a bench in the middle. I have some paths through this prairie and I have a bench in the middle which I just like to come and sit down on when I want to get away from the phone and the email and the knocks at the door. I just go in there and hide. <laughs> That's one of the beautiful things about it. We have all heard that the Midwest has the richest topsoil in our nation. What we don't think about is why. The answer lies in the native plants. The prairie once stretched from Ohio to Colorado. Native plants have enriched the soil with organic material, opened the soil and created a haven for small soil organisms to thrive. These same plants can help improve the soils in our yards. Much of our topsoil has been stripped away we can begin the rebuilding process by restoring the native soil builders. Native landscapes are functional, sustainable, and attractive. We have wonderful forest preserves, but in our busy lives, we often have only minutes of time available. By creating small natural areas in our yards, we can have a moment here and there to enjoy and unwind in this natural setting. We need to remember that we are connected to our environment and how it fares will determine our survival. Build it and they will come. This holds true for wildlife. Habitat will determine the species that can live in our communities. We have made perfect goose habitat and thus we have more geese. We can enhance the habitat for our favorite species and have a corresponding increase in the population of those species. Birds, butterflies and other wildlife have specific needs. There are plant lists or recipes for the needs of each butterfly and bird species. If we meet the needs, the populations will thrive.
Love of nature comes from experiences. Did you play in the creeks and wetlands, climb trees and go fishing when you were a child? Our children aren't being exposed to nature like in times past. By creating natural areas in our landscapes, we increase the opportunity for interaction. We should invite our youth participation in gardens and restoration projects. The world will be theirs soon, so let's make them good stewards. Nearly all of our landscapes have been changed, and the disturbance of the natural world has opened the door for invasive plants to take hold. Caring for our environment also involves removing invasive non-native species and striving to restore the natural balance. One tool that will help restore the natural balance is fire. The native plants that have evolved in this area have learned to live with fire. Their deep roots are protected by the soil. Non-native weeds have no defense against fire and are effectively controlled. The ash from the fire helps enrich the soil and the heat helps crack tough seed shells improving germination of the native plants. Burns are managed by professional burn crews and are a very safe and effective management tool. Turf grass is a nice surface, but it's very costly. The cost includes mowing, raking, watering, and chemical applications such as pesticides and fertilizers, and all this just to keep it green. Increasing the area devoted to native plants and reducing some of the turf grass is a great way to make our yards more eco-friendly. Turf grass does not absorb much water. It is designed to convey water to the drain pipes and off to our rivers. We can reduce flooding, clean the water, and return it to our aquifers with the use of native plants. We need to treat water as a precious resource. Keep water where it falls. It is important to stop allowing the water to enter the storm drain system and be carried away in our rivers. Rain gardens are a way to utilize water from our roofs, driveways, and sump pumps. Water-loving plants can be used to filter and absorb water, and what is not used is slowly returned to recharge groundwater supplies. Rain gardens make good use of stormwater runoff, conserving precious water supplies and helping protect water quality in our lakes and rivers. Deep-rooted native plants hold soil and reduce erosion. Rain gardens provide food and shelter for birds, butterflies, and mosquito-devouring dragonflies. Rain barrels are another way of utilizing rain. The soft, mineral-rich, chlorine-free water is great for use in and around our homes. Rain barrels are now available from the Conservation Foundation. These former olive barrels imported from Greece have a new life. The plastic barrels feature a brass valve and are easily adapted to a variety of conditions. The valve is threaded to fit a garden hose. Call us for details. You can join the force of people doing environmentally friendly landscaping. It's easy. The Conservation Foundation will help. Everything from advice to plant lists are yours for the asking. We'll even come out to your yard and help you with specific problems and questions. <laughs>